Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to export a photo from DxO Photo Lab. So we're already in Customize, we've made our adjustments, and now we want to export this photo. So we're going to go up here to File. And we have a couple of choices. We can actually export it directly to a program. Here it would be to any application. Here it would be uh, to uh, Adobe Lightroom. And so if you wanted to continue editing this uh, um, to uh, Lightroom or move it into a workflow you usually do in Lightroom in Photoshop, you could do it uh, through here. Uh, but today we're going to talk about how to export it to a disk. So we're going to click this selection right here to export it to a disk. You see we already have some uh, uh, preset options here. Now when you export a photograph, usually there are a few different formats or file formats that you set it to. Uh, so it's nice to have presets so you don't have to keep on going through uh, all the attributes of the way you want it to uh, be exported. So I'm going to go down here to add a new option just to show you how to do that. And so you can see it created a new option here. There's a little icon here. We click on this to rename it. We're going to name this JPEG 1080 because we're going to make a 1080p format JPEG. So you can actually re reformat it um, uh, and change some of the, the attributes of um, the resolution on it on the um, on the file you export at this point. So uh, we click on rename and it's renamed it 1080. We're going to click on this one and select it. You can see it's selected the check mark. So anything we edit here, it will remember to this. And same here, if we go up here and decide to change something, it will remember it the next time. So, so be aware of that. If you change something uh, in a preset, it will save that. So if, if you want... Um, to uh, have something um, uh, new or, or you want a new option, you can create a new option down here. Up here is standard output, so this is one that you could use to change if you just wanted to change it. And if you wanted to keep any output you would, or uh, any preset, you could create a separate preset for that. But you can go back and adjust any of these presets. So we're gonna go with this one right here, which we're creating. We're going to export it as a JPEG. The quality is at 90% by default. Let's bring it up to 100%. Now, by default, it will save the file into the original image folder, but I'm going to uh, set it to a custom folder. So I've already got it, the path where I want it into this folder. So once I select the, the folder that I want it into, I just go select. Uh, you can also see the... Uh, suffix down here it will append this to the end of the file name now usually what i do is i keep the um, the name of the file from the camera which is usually a three-letter prefix and a number and uh, so this would append after that and i'm going to add to this because i want to be able to tell what resolution later that I'm putting this in so that it's in 1080p. So I'm going to put 1080 at the end of this suffix so that it will add it on for me. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advanced settings. Well, we're already on advanced settings. When advanced settings are off, um, this is the view that you'll see. Uh, and right here, there's one more option, and it's really at the end, to override a watermark with the preset. So if you have a watermark uh, set on your photograph and you don't want it, you can click this on and override and set it to no watermark here. Uh, we don't need to do that because we don't have a watermark on this photograph. Uh, so in other words, if you usually by default put a watermark on your photographs and you want to produce one without a watermark for whatever reason 
that's the way you do it by overriding it. So now we're in the advanced settings. Um, we're going to leave the resolution the same here. We're going to enable resizing. And uh, down here, it gives us resizing mode. We can do the longest size. Uh, sometimes um, the requirement for a photograph, will, they'll say, oh, the, the longest side has to be, can be no more than 2,000 pixels, for example. So you would use that for the longest size in that, that, that case. We're going to go down here to shortest side. And we're going to set this over here to pixels. And we're going to set this to 1080. All right, so none of the other of this other of these things um, uh, we're gonna we need to change. We're not going to do that. But one other thing to be aware of is it says right here include and has these things like EXIF, GPS coordinates. This is information embedded in the image, and sometimes you want to pull that out when you export it. Uh, for example, if you had GPS coordinates and you wanted to keep those. Uh, secret so like if you're going to post it on the web or email it to someone and you didn't want them to know the exact location you could just unclick that and so then it put it it puts it to custom up here the other thing you can do up here is you can put none to pull everything off or you could put uh copyright and contact info only and uh, copyright info only uh xf and iptc hold various information like sh shutter speeds in 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 gps coordinates and, and all of those things the reason they have gps coordinates here, here separately is that would be one that a lot of people would want to pull out uh, for privacy and security reasons all right so we have everything set here now the nice thing about this is, is we have this checked off so that's if we hit export now it will export this to the folder we designated up here but say we wanted to not only do a 1080 when we did this say we're going to use the 1080 to post on to a, a web or uh, use it to post to social media or whatever we're going to use that for and we want a lower resolution image for that we have a preset here for tiff and we have one for dm um, dng as well and we have one for a full resolution um, uh, output uh, for uh, um, a JPEG. That's what our standard output is set to now. So we could pick any of these or multiple ones and export them at the same time. So let's go ahead and click off DNG while we're doing this. And uh, uh, that way we'll have have both so all we have to do is hit export and then if I bring up the folder you can see they're being written right to the folder right now and so it just wrote both of those images to our folder and you can see here under this thumbnail uh, it's actually appended DXO and 1080 to the end of it the DNG, it, it appended DXO DNG. It doesn't have that extra 1080 on there um, uh, because it's full resolution image. And uh, we could actually go back into here to disk. And if we went to DNG, uh, we could change the suffix r right here. But, but the way this preset was set, it just put DXO on to the end. So you could add any other notation on there about um, uh, uh, what you altered in it so that you could remember. And when you look at the export an image, you know right away, oh, this is a lower resolution uh, image, or I didn't include a watermark in this image, or I didn't include the GPS coordinates in the image. So anyway, that's the way you export uh, images
from DXO Photo Lab. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.